Hello everyone! In this lesson, we are going to define an ellipse and determine the forms of its standard equation. Okay, to start, let us consider this definition. Let f sub 1 and f sub 2 be two distinct points. The set of all points whose distances from f sub 1 and from f sub 2 add up to a certain constant is called an ellipse. The points f sub 1 and f sub 2 are the foci of the ellipse. Okay, so makikita natin dito sa illustration sa iba ba kung paano nabubuo ang ellipse using these two distinct points f sub 1 and f sub 2. Again, itong f sub 1 and f sub 2 are the foci of the ellipse kasi dalawang focus na siya. Okay? Makikita rin natin dito sa illustration itong dalawang lines, the blue and the red lines here. So, yung blue, siya yung nagre-represent nagre sa distance ng any point on the ellipse from f sub 1, while yung red naman, siya yung nagre-represent sa distance ng any point on the ellipse from f sub 2. Makikita rin natin dito sa ibaba yung total ng distances. Okay, so, so if you're going to add the distance taken by the blue line and the distance taken by the red line, ito yung nasa baba. As you can also see, ang total distance is always fixed. It is not moving, right? So it is not changing. So meaning, fix yung um, sum ng distances. That's why... From the definition, ang ellipse daw ay set of points whose distances from f sub 1 and from f sub 2 add up to a certain constant, meaning yung sum ng distances ay constant. It is not changing, always the same, kahit sa ang point pa yan on the ellipse. Okay, so that is the definition of an ellipse. Ngayon, kikilalani naman natin ang mga parts ng ellipse. So, here, suppose this is our ellipse. From the definition, these two points here, two distinct points, ay ang foci ng ellipse. So, dalawang focus sila. The same with circle, ang ellipse ay meron ring center. At yung center ay nasa point midway the foci. So, this is the center. Okay, we also have these two points here, itong V sub 1 at V sub 2. These are what we call the vertices of the ellipse. Okay, we also have these two points, W sub 1 and W sub 2. These are what we call the co-vertices of the ellipse. Okay, so those are the points that we can see sa ellipse. Now, if we're going to connect this V sub 1 and V sub 2, so we can create now an imaginary segment. This imaginary segment um, connecting the two vertices, V sub 1, V sub 2, is what we call the major axis of the ellipse. And the imaginary segment connecting the co-vertices of the ellipse is what we call the minor axis of the the ellipse. So here, ang major axis is always longer than the minor axis. Okay? Mau-observe rin natin dito na if ang major axis natin ay horizontal, okay? Ang ellipse natin ay also horizontal. So pahiga rin yung ellipse natin. If your major axis is patayo, meaning vertical siya, if vertical naman yung major axis, it will follow that the ellipse will also be vertical. Okay? So, um, sumusunod lang yung orientation ng ellipse sa position ng major axis. Okay? Now, based on our definition, if we're going to take one point on the ellipse, suppose that is point P, and if we're going to get the distance of this point to f sub 1 and from f sub 2. And if you're going to add those distances, the 
sum should be a constant. And this is the important property of an ellipse. The sum of the distances of any point okay, from the foci is constant. Okay, so we have here the parts of the ellipse, the foci, the center, the vertices, and the covertices. Okay, we also have the major axis and the minor axis. Ngayon, titingnan naman natin yung forms ng standard equation ng ellipse. Kanina, pinakita ko na yung itsura ng ellipse if it is horizontal. So, meron rin tayo para sa vertical. So, first, let's consider the ellipse with horizontal orientation. So, ano yung form ng standard equation? So, if your center is hk, okay, if the center is hk, the standard equation will be this one. x minus h quantity square all over a square plus y minus k quantity square all over b square equal to 1. Okay? Now, ang hk natin ay yung center. Mamaya, malalaman natin kung ano yung a at b sa standard equation. Okay? Now, if the center naman is located at the origin, so yung h at k natin ay magiging 0 lang. So, the standard equation will become this one. x square over a square plus y square over b square equal to 1. Okay? Now, what if the orientation is vertical? So, yung ellipse natin ay patayo. Okay? So, what will be the form of the standard equation? If the center is hk. So, this will be our standard equation. So, ano ang kaibahan? So, ito lang. Yung denominator okay, ng x minus h quantity square at y minus k quantity square nagkabaliktad lang. So, dito naging b square na yung sa first term and a square yung nasa second term. Okay? So, nagkabaliktad lang yung denominators. Now, if the center is at the origin, so we have this standard equation. Now, take note that A is always greater than B. So, malalaman nyo mamaya bakit si A always greater than B. Okay? But here, since A is always greater than B, meaning if the denominator of x minus h is greater than the denominator of y minus k, ang ellipse natin ay horizontal. Okay? If ang denominator naman ng y minus k is greater than the denominator ng x minus h, ang ellipse naman natin ay vertical. So, those are the two um, forms ng standard equation ng ellipse depending on its orientation. Ngayon naman, let's consider this table of properties. Itong table of properties, nagbibigay lang siya ng mga formulas in finding the properties of the ellipse. Ano ba yung mga properties? We have the orientation. Okay, the orientation. The equation, the center, vertices, co-vertices, and the foci. Now, if we have an ellipse that is horizontal, the equation is given by this one. So, nandito yung equation. So, yung center ay hk. The vertices from the center, we just added or subtracted a from h. So, ito yung kaibahan niya sa center. For the co-vertices naman, from the center, we added or subtracted B from K. So, yan. And for the foci, we added or subtracted C from H. Okay? Now, if the ellipse is vertical naman, okay, the same pa rin yung center niya. The vertices, so for the horizontal, we added or subtracted A from H. Dito sa vertical, from K naman siya. So, nagkabaliktad lang siya. Right? For the co-vertices, from K dito sa horizontal, sa H naman siya dito sa vertical. 
And for the foci from H sa horizontal, sa K naman siya dito sa vertical. Okay? So, these are the properties of the ellipse. So, first, we have the center. So, as you can see in the illustration, the center is the point midway, the focus, the vertices, and the co-vertices. So, nasa gitna yung center. That's why center ang tawag. Okay? Next, we have the vertices. As you can see in the formula, the vertices differ from the center by this letter A, right? So, we added or subtracted A. So, either sa H or sa K, depending on the orientation. That means that the vertices are A units away from the center. So, meaning ang distance ng center to one vertex is A. Okay? So, we have here this distance A. So, yan. Okay? The segment connecting V sub 1, V sub 2 is called the major axis of length 2A. Kasi, take note, V sub 1, V sub 2, if you're going to connect, you have the major axis. The distance of the center to one vertex is A. And since we have two vertices, so dalawang A yan, so you have a total distance or total length na 2A dito. Okay? Now, for the co-vertices naman, ang formula niya, nagdi-differ lang from the center by this letter B. Meaning, the co-vertices are B units away from the center. So, center to one co-vertex is B. Okay? The segment connecting W1 and W2 is called the minor axis and its length is 2B. Kasi, center to one co-vertex is B since dalawa, so we have dalawang B. So, that is 2B. Okay? For the foci naman, okay, the formula nagdi-differ lang by this letter C here. So, meaning, the foci are just C units away from the center. So, center to one focus is C. Okay? So, the foci are C units away from the center. Now, we have here this property for any point on the ellipse. For any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 2a. San galing yang property na yan? Okay? So, let's take a look on this illustration. Take note from the definition of the ellipse. Okay, if you're going to take one point on the ellipse, dapat ang distance ng point na yan from the um, focus 1 and from the focus 2, dapat yung sum ng distances ay constant, right? Now, suppose we are going to consider this point V sub 2. Take note, this V sub 2 is a point on the ellipse, right? So, therefore, we can um, consider this point V sub 2. Now, from the definition, let's try to take the distance of V sub 2 to F sub 1. So, this is the distance, right? And the distance of V sub 2 to F sub 2, we have this distance. Now, take note that this distance here, this one, V sub 2 to F sub 2 is just the same with the distance of V sub 1 to F sub 1. This one, right? So, yan. So, meaning, so I can just omit this one, okay, and take this distance. Now, if I'm going to add this distance, V sub 2 to F sub 1 and F sub 1 to V sub 1, that is just the major axis, right? The length of the major axis. And what is the length of the major axis? That is just 2a. That's why, for any point on the ellipse, the sum of its distances from the foci is 2a. So, meaning yung constant na tinutukoy pala sa definition ay yung length lang ng major axis. So, we have this property, the distance, 
okay? P to F sub 1 plus the distance P to F sub 2 is equal to 2A. Okay? So, we have that property. Now, take note that A square is equal to B square plus C square. Saan naman to galing? So, these are the relation, this is the relationship of A, B, and C. Okay? So, Let's look at this illustration. Now, take note that W2 is a point on the ellipse, right? So, I can consider this one as my point P. Now, if we're, I'm going to take the distance of that point from F sub 1, so, yan, okay? And the distance of this point from F sub 2, dapat ang total distance niya ay 2A from this um, property, right? But take note, this distance here is just equal by with the distance here, right? So, 2A yan lahat, since they are equal, meaning this one here is just A, and the other one is also A, kasi equal sila. A plus A, you have 2A, right? And take note, the distance of the center to one covertex is B, so this is just B. And the distance of the center to one focus is just C. So from that, we can create a right triangle, right? Since this is a right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. And what is the Pythagorean theorem? We have the hypotenuse here. So, the, hypo the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs of the right triangle, right? So, we have here A square is equal to B square plus C square. And that is this one, okay? So, therefore, this is the relationship between... A, B, and C. Okay? So, that's it for the properties. Now, if we are going to um, expand these two equations here, two standard equations here, makakabuo tayo ng another form ng equation ng ellipse and that is what we call the general equation of an ellipse. And that is given by AX square plus BY square plus CX plus DY plus E equal to 0. Here, your A and B must not be equal. So, this is very important. Your A and B must not be equal. And if you're going to take the product of A and B, it should be positive. Okay? So, this is the form of the general equation of an ellipse. Okay, that's it for today. For our next video naman, we will try to apply these concepts that we've learned here in our discussion, okay, in solving problems involving ellipses. Thank you for watching.